today we will uh, discuss about uh, a topic that is economic importance of uh, mammals if we generally discuss uh, the in what are uh, actually the mammals mammals are the, the kind of organism that are important for human beings in uh, several ways so mammals uh, are other kind of significant organism and uh, they are uh, responsible for the sustaining a uh, role in ecosystem so we can say mammals have important uh, role in the food webs of uh, the that, that are very uh, important in terms of every ecosystem which mean uh, mammals are kind of organisms that are significant that are important in uh, maintenance of different types of food webs so we can say mammals are the basically the important members of the different types of food chains and food webs uh, how they are actually important uh, uh, member of different types of food chains and food, food webs they can act as grazers and predators mammals uh, mammals can have fed at various level of the food chain as herbivore insectivore carnivore and omnivore so we can say uh, they are responsible for the uh, they are actually responsible uh, for Uh, sustaining uh, any type of ecosystems mammals uh, can have different types of interaction in the environment so can mammals uh, can uh, interact with other species in many uh, type of relationships that can be a, a symbiotic relationship that can be a type of predator and prey relationship that can be uh, any type of relation so we can say that for example if we generally discuss that bats have established mutually beneficial relationship with plants so uh, some uh, nectar feeding bats receive what is treat from the each uh, flower and in return they pollinate the flower this mean we can say uh, this is a kind of general example in terms of mammals that mammals are kind of organism that are um, uh, that they are playing important role in uh, uh, environment in a way they, that they uh, along with insects uh, we can also uh, consider these mammals as best pollinators so they play important role in uh, pollination of different types of uh, plants so uh, it's mean uh, we are uh, we are saying we are generally discussing about the transfer of pollen from uh, flowers we can say uh, they are uh, helping uh, different types of plants in uh, their reproductive life cycle so uh, some non flying mammals uh, mammalian uh, pollinators uh, they are actually uh, are kind of organism that are significant that are marsupials and primates uh, and different types of rodents so uh, it's mean we can say um, some flying uh, mammals and some non flying mammals they are important source of pollination in different types of plants so in most cases these animals uh, with the different types of flowers to eat their nectar and end up with the pollen that is stuck to their bodies when the animal uh, visits another flower to eat the nectar the pollen is transferred uh, to that flower is we simply we can say mammals uh, along with insects um, class insecta they are uh, the class mammalia uh, is also um, playing important role in pollination of different uh, type of uh, plants uh, different types of uh, plants are uh, they actually import, play important role in seed dispersal as well if we can say that mammals uh, can act as um, mammals can play important role in seed dispersal in a way that um, their bodies um, is uh, some mammals that actually have a kind of uh, a body that will that will be a hair that will be a hair like structure and some uh, seeds plant seeds will get attached with their body structures and they will um, when they will uh, and they actually play important role in transportation of seeds from one place to another and they they play important role in uh, seed dispersal mechanism and why this mechanism they can uh, um, Uh, they can play important role in a um, uh, biodiversity as well so we uh, can simply say that uh, plants are uh, so we, and mammals are the, the kind of organisms that can play important role in seed dis, uh, seed dispersal next Uh, if we uh, discuss uh, we are actually discussing about the different types of uh, mammals so we can say uh, another important um, organism uh, that is belonging to uh, class mammalia that are different zebras they have been known to be the uh, be the friend of ostriches in the uh, this is actually a kind of symbiotic relationship in which both uh, are actually getting benefit the ostrich with its uh, terrible sense of smell and hearing uh, and the zebra with its poor eyesight are both able to warn each other when uh, danger is, is near it's mean um, 
they are important uh, they are, this is a kind of relationship in which both organisms are uh, getting uh, benefit the zebra uh, um, actually can smell and hear the certain danger that is approaching while the ostrich can see the other dangers both are prepared to warn one another at a moment's notice so they can each other uh, flee uh, when it's it mean uh, 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 mammals uh, are uh, the kind of organisms that are that this is actually a kind of relationship in which both organisms are getting benefit and the benefit is actually uh, obtained in a way that uh, both of these organisms will obtain a uh, benefit uh, both actually um, uh, get, will get a chance to escape from the uh, different types of predators so this uh, relationship this is also important role of different types of mammals if we uh, generally discuss uh, we are discussing um, uh, importance of mammals we can say uh, mammals are uh, also um, utilized around the world for transportation activity this is actually the kind of activity that has a ancient or long history it means uh, different types of horses donkeys mules and camels they are the primary source the primary means for transportation of different parts of the world still uh, if we, it mean we can uh, we cannot say that these are actually that um, uh, uh, means of transportation in the um, in the ancient past but if, if up till no in present scenario we can we are also utilizing uh, dependent on these um, uh sources for uh, different for transportation uh, for different types of transportation activities so the mammals can also do work for us how mammals are actually doing work for us, uh, for us they actually provide different types of services in form of transportation in form of luggage carry carry activity in, in form of transportation of different types of material from one place to another and the service uh, dogs can be trained to help um, help the disabled it means um, different types of uh, um, uh, mammals uh, are actually trained for different types of types of activities these includes guide dogs uh, which are the um, which are actually the kind of dogs which assist the um, uh, they are actually the um, uh, providing the assistance to different types of blind and visually impaired people around the obstacles so um, this is actually the kind of training uh, along with this uh, different types of um, uh, mammals are actually trained for different types of gaming activities among them uh, we, we have an idea about the different types of monkeys different types of bears there are uh, different types of um, uh, uh, different types of mountain goats they are utilized for aesthetic purposes and they are actually serving as um, the they actually serve as uh, to um, they actually serve as a important source in um, e economy of any any kind of person so it, it can say this is also a kind of way in which um, poor people are people who actually belong to low level they can earn uh, they can have earning sources from these animals so the uh, horses and the elephants can carry heavy loads human can also use some mammals for the food so, um, most of the most commonly utilized um, uh, most common uh, organism most common mammals and animals that are utilized for food purposes that are cows and goats they are commonly raised for their milk and meat purposes and the mammals uh, that are more highly developed brains they uh, they have made from uh, ideal for the use by the scientists in the studying such as uh, things such as um, different types of learning activities seen in maize studies in mice rats is mean uh, we are actually utilizing these organisms uh, to, for um, our different types of for maintenance of our different types of household activities for different types of uh, cultural um, uh, different types of uh, it's mean um, the different organisms are actually teamed for different types of processes they um, so they uh, play important role in uh, uh, the economy uh, um, economy of a person they, they can play important role so um, some mammals uh, they have kind of scientific value scientific value in a way different types of mammals are utilized for different types of uh, research activities so they will serve as um, important source in terms of uh, technology as well so if we generally um, we are actually generally discussing about the what are actually um, what is actually the importance of uh, mammals to humans uh, so we can say uh, these mammals can serve as food material they can serve as in uh, uh, food material they can serve as uh, luggage carrier they can serve as um, helping different types of humans uh, in transportation they can uh, they can have several sources for uh, they can serve to human beings via several ways so uh, if we uh, and broad categories we can say that um, the 
mammals are actually the kind of organism that will serve as the source of food um, uh, food will not include only meat and milk but our several products are actually derived from the animals like uh, our industries are actually based on different types of uh, animals so uh, on broader level uh, the source of food uh, the, they are they can also serve as important uh, source of food for the human beings and the uh, different types of uh, mammals can serve as source of different types of medicine uh, if we gen- if we generally discuss about the source of medicine in terms of um, in terms of uh, uh, human beings we can say the pancreas is the source of insulin that is used in treatment of diabetes uh, pancreas so the urine of pregnant um, female uh, mule uh, that gives human chronic gonadotropin hormone acid that is used for the treatment of infertility and the sheep thyroid is the source of thyroxin and in hypertension it's mean uh, uh, we actually obtain different types of bioactive substances with different types of medicinally important uh, compound or products from different types of animals that can serve human uh, human beings via several ways next uh, um, if we generally uh, we are actually discussing about the we are actually discussing the economic importance of different types of mammals the cord uh, liver uh, that is uh, a kind of uh, product that is obtained from oh. different types of um, uh, uh, fishes uh, yeah. that is important source of vitamin a and b uh, that is actually mostly having uh, uh, animal origin or different types of uh, fishes are actually utilized for this purpose so the cord uh, liver is used for the source um, source of vitamin a and d in the blood of animal is used for the preparation of different types of vaccines and different types of um, if we if we are discussing about the importance of different types of mammals uh, so um, yeah, the different types of bones are actually utilized for different types of purposes if we have when you have an idea about the um, uh, bony structure of the teeth of uh, elephant are actually used, utilized for uh, the uh, for uh, different types of ornamental preparations uh, different types of jewelry products are actually made from different uh, from the teeth and bones of different types of animals so they can have um, they can serve to human beings in via several ways so uh, some uh, stomach tissues that contain pepsin and trypsin uh, which are digestive juices used in the treatment of peptic diseases in the past so nowadays better drugs have been replaced is i mean uh, the any any Animals uh, derived products have uh, been utilized since past, and they can serve as important source uh, for the treatment of various diseases, and um, uh, they can serve as important source of food. So, the ecological, I mean, generally, uh, this uh, ecological importance of different types of mammals is that mammals actually play very important role in the ecosystem. They actually, uh, they are actually the kind of organism that play important role in the sustaining any kind of ecosystem. So, mammals are typically important for uh, maintaining. Uh, for the maintenance of um, the different types of uh, uh, activities uh, that are actually associated with the ecosystem uh, they so they play important role in balancing any kind of ecosystem such as playing the prey predator role in the environment um, uh, sea dispersal uh, these are actually the kind of uh, role that are played by that are actually um, the kind of uh, that is actually the kind of role that is being played by different types of mammals to maintain to sustain the different types of um, different types of um, different types of activities if we uh, generally if we are discussing about the different uh, types of uh, mammals we can simply say that they can serve as they can serve to human beings uh, in a way that they can have a kind of um, uh, they can have a kind of activity that is um, that involve different uh, our different industries are actually um, uh, relying relying on different types of animals like we can say in the milk industry that is uh, specifically um, the, the, uh, utilized for different types of purposes different products are actually made from the milk uh, several products are actually um, drawn from uh, these uh, mammals so we can say uh, these uh, these are they, this is actually the kind of method these are actually the kind of um, products that can uh, that can contribute that can uh, play important role in the poultry industry if we um, are discussing about different types of uh, if we uh, discuss about the um, different types of farming technique among them the uh, cattle farming and uh, cattle farming and dairy industry that is specific that is uh, that uh, that are the these two industries are actually the kind of industry that are specifically relying on different types of mammals and they can play important role in the country economy um, the this mean we can say the uh, cattle uh, cattle farming and the practice of uh, rearing and breeding of different types of mammalian animals for the production and processing of different types of milk and milk um, 
containing products are of much more concern in terms of uh, different types of mammals so uh, the animals that actually yield us uh, different types of um, products are designated are utilized for different types of purposes so the um, the products that are actually mainly uh, obtained from uh, the different types of mammals that are of much concern in terms of human beings that is uh, that are most significant that are of much concern that is milk and meat because our most of the uh, because the most of the country demands uh, in terms of food requirement that is uh, meat and milk they are most commonly utilized um, ingredient in any country so the meat and milk uh, uh, product as uh, we have discussed in a real action in case of poultry industry that uh, different types of birds they are actually important source of um, eggs and meat but these mammals uh, can serve as a important source in uh, worldwide so different types of um, different types of uh, 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 this means we can say different types of cows buffaloes goats they um, sheep they are harvested for different types of purposes as sheep we generally discuss about the sheep that is actually utilized for the um, uh, um, formation of different types of products we can have different types of um, wool that is obtained from uh, sheep uh, skin uh, the leather, leather industry is actually based on the skin of different types of animals uh, these are actually the important sources that are uh, that are related to different types of um that uh, these are actually the kind of sources that we relate to the uh, different types of mammals along with this uh, if we are generally uh, discussing about different types of mammals we can say mammal can uh, serve as um, the mammal can um, play important role in um, uh, save god activities like we are actually we actually train different types of animals so they can uh, protect us uh, so uh, they can have game value they can have they can serve as important source in terms of medicine they can uh, play important role in terms of industry they can uh, they are actually the kind of organism a uh, mammal are significant are beneficial to human beings via several ways uh, 